Welcome back. New York City area airports just received a major upgrade. Organic drink maker Juice Press will begin selling their cold pressed drinks and plant based snacks at all three major metropolitan airports, looking to take their healthy products to a global audience. Joining us right now is the chairman of Juice Press. Michael Karsh. Michael, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to see you too, Maria. So your, your company has expanded over 1,500% since its 2010 launch. How's it going? I mean, you're one of the hottest things right now in, in healthy foods. Thank you. Well, I feel like we've touched a nerve from both a, from a consumer need and from a brand equity perspective. And uh, we've really expanded the definition of Juice Press to being a wellness platform. So we've gone from, to your point, we've gone from four to 75 stores in the past five years with big expansion ahead in the next year. Why? What's so great about Juice? Well, two things. But juice itself um, is, we believe, you know, nutrient-dense product, eliminating processed food or reducing it substantially will have the ability to change your life. And for myself, that's been dramatic since I've gotten involved in Juice Press in the past five plus years. But in addition, we've broadened the definition of Juice Press to make it, we think, the preeminent uh, wellness platform from a grab-and-go perspective in the country. And you're vertically integrated, and this is one of your distinctives, is, yes. is you're sort of soup to nuts here. And you think that helps control the product quality in a way that other brands aren't able to do that? Very much so. The big food companies are really all about economies of scale and all about extended shelf life in order to improve that economies of scale. We're doing something different. We are proving that you don't have to sacrifice. Um, you, don't, you don't have to sacrifice that you can have fresh product. And in, or, in order to do that, we've had to create a vertical integration where we make over 100 products a day, deliver seven days a week. Mm. So, uh, Kevin and I are both drinking the ginger fire. How is by it? The way. <laughs> yeah, it's it, not it, as fiery as you promised. <laughs> we have but a rehab shot for you it's, then. It's after very this. good for your digestive system. I love I it. It's got think. a nice little zing to it. I, I tried. I tried the green apple, spinach, uh, and lemon, which is pretty good. Now you've got a partnership with Equinox. That we seems do. to have begun. Sort of for the beginning of, of a, a good trend for you. Mm -hmm. Now you're partnering with Super Bowl champ quarterback Russell Wilson. We you're launching in Seattle. Uh, tell us about that. Sure. Well, being being in New York is is a very is a great advantage for us because of course there's so much exposure. After Russell won the uh, Super Bowl, he came to the, New York to do the, the talk show circuit and uh, felt uh, felt for Juice Press became passionate. Started calling me once every several months, asking me when uh, when, it's to Juice, when it's coming to Seattle. At the time, we didn't feel like we can handle that type of expansion. But after we went from uh, zero to six stores in Boston and did so uh, with the same type of success we're having in New York, we gained the confidence to be willing to go to Seattle. And we had the media day two days ago. We're opening up right after Thanksgiving. And I think one of the most important things people need to know about Juice Press is, is it's it, not this just... This is $8? No, no. Well, <laughs> this little thing is $8. That's how they make so much No, I, th I, think, I think it's also not just juice, though. You can go, like, I like the vanilla chia pudding, so, yeah. uh, so I am a customer. I mean, my fiancé lives there. She's like, the soup's out by 1130, you know, because they have special soups. I mean, it's just really good, healthy yeah. living. So I think that's the important thing. You were talking about the brand equity. How does that come into play and are you looking to expand your product offering? We are. Uh, we are definitely looking to expand our product line and I'm going to tie that into the point about $8. Um, we, have, we are premium to whatever product category, which means that now we have energy bars. We sell, let's say, 300,000 energy bars that we make ourselves. Those are $3.50. Maybe energy bar is $2.75. Also, for people who aren't living in New York City, where there's going to be $15 labor, and having 200 plus dollars of square foot rent, of course our price points will be yep. different in different cities. So it's a little bit of apples and oranges in that regard. Pun but, intended, right? Yeah. Pun intended for sure. Right. But, yeah. but I do want to point out that we are not apologetic about the fact that unfortunately the big food companies have distorted people's viewpoint of what they should be paying for food because they have denigrated the quality in order to lower the price. But in, in, that, in that instance, they've sacrificed uh, quality tremendously and the truth is that organic produce is hundred percent more expensive many times than c conventional and so as a result prices will be higher I agree it's worth every dollar we, we will leave it there Michael great to see you congrats thank you so much appreciate, really appreciate you being it. here uh, Michael Karsh uh, juice press will be